Your heart has four valves in it. The valves have one job, to keep the blood flowing in a single direction. Today we're going to talk about the mitral valve. The mitral valve sits right in the center of your heart between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And it looks something like this. Here you can see it's got two leaflets or flaps. The anterior leaflet, label that with an A, and the posterior leaflet, label that with a P. As the blood flows through the valve, the two leaflets separate, creating a gap, which you see right here. And then when it's time for the valve to close, these two leaflets come together. The leaflets are controlled by the muscles of the heart and by special structure called cords. Let me draw those for you. These are called the papillary muscles. These two little muscles sit inside the heart and they send off cords, which look like strings, that attach to the valve. And much like the struts of a parachute, these cords hold the leaflets or flaps in their place. So the valve actually is fairly complicated. It's got its two leaflets, anterior and posterior. It's got muscles, part of the left ventricle of the heart, and it's got these cords. And for the mitral valve to work properly, all of this has to happen in a concerted fashion, 60 to 80 times a minute, opening the valve, then closing it.